Hi everyone, in today's uh, podcast episode in Curious Business Talks, I'm talking about in reading my article about implementing user experience in big and small business projects. Let's dive in. Who says user experience is only for big companies? You, the business owner, can implement a good user experience for your customers, clients and users. Here is how. First, you need to be willing to learn and collaborate, quite an essential prerequisite to getting maximum value from such a process. It is a never-ending process, yes. You need to be willing to learn the terms and best practices so all the jargon can make sense to you. Also, collaborating with your team members like developers, designers, marketing and customer service professionals and others is essential to create a holistic and amazing user experience. Everyone should know where you as a business are headed and what you are trying to give to your users. The goal has to be clear. Second, you should know who your users are, at least analytically. Differentiating your business goals from those of the users is where the magic happens. Third, brace yourself with patience because good things take time. Be open to asking questions and clarifications to remove any mystery that later might become a worry. Four, remember to have fun along the way and remember as well that nothing is set in stone. There is always another iteration or version that can be made. Quote, people ignore design that ignores people. Frank Shimero, designer. End of quote. As a freelancer, I have taken on a mission to help small and ambitious business owners, entrepreneurs and startups improve their online presence and overall user experience with focus on the user or audience needs. While doing website redesigns, I considered what will happen if I implement those great user experience methodologies even to the most simple project. For example, a one-page website. Hmm? It will make a difference between the other generic websites and those that speak in different language. And that's why I decided to help my clients develop great, no-code websites and start their journey on the path to a great user experience. The first aha moment I had approximately two years ago when I gave descriptive feedback to a user interface design to a freelance colleague in an improvement group. Then I continue to share my honest opinion and advice on the improvement of designs in the user experience area while thinking, if I gave such valuable design advice to a colleague, how valuable and beneficial would that be for a business owner who even implements it and tests it? And so it began. The journey to improve the user experience for small existing websites, redesigns and building new websites and brand identities to startups and their mobile apps towards medium and big websites and e-commerce businesses. If you're interested in collaborating with me, feel free to check my portfolio. I will leave the link in the description. Thank you for listening and I'm very proud of you staying until the end. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media and supporting my journey by leaving a comment what was the favorite part of yours in this episode. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!